Okay. So over here you can see this. This is the box over here you can see. So because it's a aluminum AL version, so this one you can see it comes with certain stripes on it, similar to the more recent AL available. So you can see Diamond 580 ALR. Alright, so piston filling fountain pen. So they're all made in Taiwan if you don't know yet. Okay. So let me take it out. So first thing we do is we just slice open this portion to we'll take out the box. Okay. Then the protective layers as usual. Then you can see as well the manuals. Alright, so this is a twist beam manual as usual. Let me just show you up front, showing you how to fill up the pens, how to disassemble and reassemble. Alright, then applying silicon grease, reassembling the nib. Okay, the graphics are there. Then it shows you all the different parts of the pen itself. Okay, then on the other side, of course. There's some text in Chinese, all right? This is in traditional Chinese, if you're good at reading traditional Chinese. If not, you can look at this as well. This is a bit more information now. Then this is talking about the AL mechanism. All right, with the grease. So over here you can see it's a very beautiful box. All right, and then let's take out the box. So you can see it's pretty well protected. Behind as well, you can still see as what it is over here. So same as the stick on the outside so that you can see for yourself. Then there's actually some sticker here to protect. So that it doesn't drop out easily, so we're gonna remove it. Okay, so I'll just take out one side. So you can see this is a very nice pretty box. We're gonna open it up. And then you can see here as well to hold the pen together. So this is the new punch pink. It's a very beautiful, nice color with the metallic glow. It's very pretty. Okay, so you can see the Twist B logo here as well. Okay, so the ring itself is also a metallic pink. And you can see here, it shows the diamond 580 ALR in Taiwan to show it's made in Taiwan and twist below go. Okay, then even a ring here over here. You can see the ring here as well. That's also a pink. So I don't know what you expected when you open up. Well, we heard a punch pink is coming out. What kind of pink you are expecting? I'm not sure. Whether anybody else has heard this expression punch pink, it's new to me. So you can see here there are the grooves, very fine grooves. Uh, you can get it in focus. So you can see for yourself as well. So it grips pretty nicely. Yeah. So this being a typical twist B Diamond 580, so you can twist it out before you draw your ink, put it in and draw your ink. You can see the entire piston itself is also in the pink color. All right, so you can draw it up. And you can see this. So I think for most collectors who already have a Twispy and a Twisby Diamond 580, then you'll be wondering how is it different from the other colors, especially if you love pink and you're wondering which pink color Twisby or you've never had any of the Twisby pinks you want to compare. So I'm going to take out some of the pink colors that we have as well available so that you can compare on your own. So I think the first and closest thing to choose and compare with is probably 
the twisby diamond 580 al in rose red okay so if you put it from afar looks pretty similar right in the light i'm not too sure whether you can see very clearly okay it looks similar but it's still different okay so if you look closely enough you can still see that the new punch pink is still a shade closer to the pink while the rose is closer to a red okay and what are the more obvious differences because if you say uh, everything looks pinkish reddish to me so what's the difference what else is different so observe you can see from the cap itself this cap is also in pink all right and this one's still silver right logo itself is the same it still has the same protective layer on top okay then where you can see a very big difference is probably in the center ring so let me take it out so you can see more clearly so you can see the cap itself then when it's bare you can see very clearly all right so for the rose actually the reds red trims are here and behind and then it's clear behind so for the cap itself it's very big difference right so what do you like better you can um, write inside the comment section tell me which one you prefer the punch pink or the rose red okay then next we go into the details you can see the words as well all right the Rose Red was actually launched in November 2017. So it's almost three years past and they launched this one. And you can see the ALR. The text is slightly different, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can see. Then behind, where's the difference? So I put it up close as well, they can see. So in this slide, probably you can tell as well. So this is the punch pink. It comes with all the grids around to give you more grip. Okay. This one is completely smooth. All right. So you can see this, the metallic sheen is slightly different. So you can see a pink. Then behind, you can see as well, so this one is the rose and this one is the pink. So the construction behind is largely similar other than the trim. So this portion as well, the rose, the trim is still in the chrome. And this one comes along with the punch pink color. All right. So that's the key difference. So let me put it back as well. And then you want to compare with Maybe they've caught a lot of other pinks available or reds. So how does it compare the echoes? Right, so these are the echo that we have available. You can see it for itself. Okay. So these are the different ones. This one's also a diamond 580. This one's really the RBT, so you can see the red, the differences in the red cap. Okay. Then for the echoes. These are the pinks or corals kind of thing, or pinkish shades. All right, so this is more like the transparent red, which is kind of pinkish. All right, this is the really pink. Then the coral, and then we can compare itself across the colors. All right, so which color do you like best? So. I think this is pretty nice color. The punch pink looks definitely more trendy. Yeah, looks more modern color as well. So if you already have a red, I think it's still probably worthwhile to take a look at a punch pink. I think having the trims throughout from top to bottom, that makes quite a big difference to the entire look and feel. It suddenly feels a lot more yeah, modern and chic, I think. All right, so for those who are Definitely gonna get a pink and who love pink inks, maybe you might think, ah, when I get my pink, what am I gonna be filling up this ink 
this pen with what kind of ink, right? So we brought out some of our uh, ink swatches as usual. So this is what you can see. So because this pink is actually pretty reddish, so let me show you as well. So we normally have quite a lot of swatches. So if you all have seen before at City Lux Workroom, we actually prepare a lot of swatches like this ones. These ones are more reds. Okay, and this is more of the pink. Okay, because it's supposed to be punch pink, but because this is quite a deep pink, it's not a light pink, so I thought I'll compare as well so that you guys can take a look which might be a better ink to ink this pen with, all right? So you guys comment later in the comments below which you think would be the closest or nicest to fit together with this pen. All right, let me show you a bit in close-up. Okay, so looking at this, we have quite a bit of the colors going on. Let me try to make sure that it doesn't reflect too much and then I'll put a pen next to it. I would appreciate some help today, but my helper doesn't want to help me. <laughs> my helper is busy reading a, reading a comic book by my side. <laughs> so, okay, Montevati Rose Pink, quite far off. Okay, doesn't match so much. This is Twist Beast's own pink color. So it's a nice pastel looking kind of pink. Hey, my pen disappeared because Erin um, just grabbed it. She's trying to match it on her own. Okay, bit by bit. Let's go to this. This is a Kyoto ink. Does it match for you guys? Okay, then this is a Kyoiro. Cherry Blossom. This is more a bit of a magenta look to it. Vinta Inks, Pastel Inks, very light, so probably a bit off. Pilot Iro Shizuku, Momiji. Looks pretty good actually. I wonder how many of you have a Momiji. If you all have one, you all can type in I have one. Okay, if you. Then you can look at a Pilot Iro for Kosu Mosu. This is also a nice punchy pink, I feel. So, not too bad, I think. This is as a match for pink colors. What do you think? Then this is Faber Castell's Electric Pink. All right. This is their Electric Pink, which is, um, let's look at the handwriting. The bottle's pretty nice, though. I took out the bottle. This is the Faber Castell bottle, you can have a look. Very nice big bottle. So these are indelible, it's actually pretty water resistant, waterproof. Okay, so these are permanent inks. So you can get um, a Graphon ink from us as well if you didn't know. Okay, so this is how electric pink looks like. Then to speed pink again. Actually, I took this out even though it's not pink. Twist B calls it orange. But I thought it's pretty close. Actually, it's pretty close. Yeah. So even when you write. So what do you think? You guys can comment as well whether you think the twisty orange ink fits the punch pink pen well. Right? <coughs> then over here, I brought out the reds as well. So we have a bunch of red inks. So I thought I'll compare as well. So this is three oysters from Korea, and this is the chili red. Not too bad, I think. This one matches pretty well. Then I move on to, this is Kyo Iro. This is also one of the Kyoto inks. So this one's flaming red of Fushimi. Not sashimi, Fushimi. Okay, so pretty close. Yeah, so this range is pretty close. So this is Dan Chong, it's from Three Oysters. A bit darker shade, I feel. <coughs> then the Monty Buddy Ruby. Not so much. Valentine Red. What do you think of Valentine Red? So not too bad. Mercury Noir, all these are all more magentas already. Ruby Ray from Kawiko, Napa Vineyards. All right. 
So I think these are the ones that probably closer to what we are looking at. So that's all for today. All right, so this is the Twisby 580ALR Punch Pink. The new Punch Pink just arrived yesterday. So those who pre-ordered, you should be receiving them soon. Those of you who are still undecided, do come down over to our Silax workroom. This is what our showroom is for. Come and take a final look, see in the flash for yourself, and then try before you click and buy, all right? Thank you very much for watching. Bye.